and everything is all set. <laughs> Shut up! I mean, you're shushing too loud, Mort will hear you. There's got to be absolute quiet, or it'll spoil the surprise party. Shh! Go now, Walter! She heard. I knew it. Now the party is ruined. No, Walter, it isn't. Don't get hysterical. Mother doesn't know anybody's here. But she heard the doorbells, Harold. She heard the bell again! <laughs> Walter, I told you not to ring the bell. No, you said I should not. <laughs> Oh, yes, Maud, uh, he just came over to... Uh, uh, to borrow some garbage! <laughs> oh, I just got a new disposal. I want to see how it works. Arthur, that's the most asinine excuse I ever had. I must say, I agree with Walter. Thanks for the garbage, Maud! Anytime, Arthur. <laughs> Never try to top a doctor when it comes to excuses. <laughs> Oh, my birthday, girl. What's she doing? She's upstairs getting dressed. Well, what thinks we're going to spend her birthday at the Cruptons? Oh, hi, Cruptons. <laughs> hi, Cruptons. Hi, Anna. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, everybody's here. I'll go up and bring more down. Wait a minute, Walter. we got to have a signal. Just before you bring more down, yell, uh, Vaya con Dios. What? <laughs> In Spanish for go with God. <laughs> Why should I yell go with God in Spanish? Well, it sounds ridiculous if you yell in English. Come on, Walter. Finish your makeup and let's get out of here. Oh, Walter. Walter, at my age, why do I have to have another birthday? <laughs> what? Mm, don't be depressed. You look beautiful. I do, don't I? <laughs> now, I suppose actually I should be thrilled. I mean, here I am, 46. I don't look a day over 41. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're 48. <laughs> then I don't look a day over 43. <laughs> what is that? That. That must be Carol and Chris fooling around. Carol! Is that you and Chris fooling around? Yes, Walter. That's me and Chris fooling around. <laughs> See? Well, I wish they'd fool around with each other and keep their hands off my crystal. <laughs> oh, honey. Listen, uh, since it is my birthday, Walter, will you promise me some? Of course, we are. What? Honey, tonight for a change. Will you talk to me? Will you stay with me? Will you devote all your attention to me? Oh, no, Walter, every time we go to a party, the men end up on one side of the room and the women on the other. Honey, tonight, talk to me. Stay with me, Walter. Okay, Maud, I won't move from your side all night. Oh. Anything your little heart desires. Oh. <laughs> Walter, dear, I'd like to point out to you that is not my heart. <laughs> And since we're pointing things out, Maud, it's not little, either. <laughs> Maud! Maya Condias! Maud, why are you yelling like Daisy Arnaz getting a tooth pulled? <laughs> uh, well, just in case Carol and Chris are fooling around downstairs, Vaya con Dios! Walter, there's not a sound from downstairs. If they're fooling around, they're not fooling around. They're deadly serious. <laughs> I warn you, Walter, I'm going to hold you to your promise. Now, if you go off with jerky George Crupton tonight... Maybe I'll have you have to go so help me, I'm going to hang myself in the floor. <laughs> You old darling! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Maud! Happy birthday to you! I knew all the time! I knew all the time! I knew you were here! I knew you were all here! That's why I was teasing you! <laughs> Jerry, 
Turkey George Corrupter. <laughs> This is one of the nicest near surprises I've ever had on the birthday. I mean, what I wanted was to be with my family and my dearest and warmest and closest friends. I don't believe we've met. Oh, these are the Stillwells. Harriet and Harvey Stillwell. You know, mini computers. Oh! And since they were in town, I thought they might enjoy coming to the party. Oh, well, welcome to my birthday party, Harriet and Harvey. Now then, money, look, look. Look at all those presents. Oh. Open this one first. It's a little surprise from me to you, buddy. Oh. Thank you, Arthur. Oh. oh, just what I've always wanted. Geriatrics can be fun. <laughs> oh, with a special introduction by Yule Gibbons. <laughs> oh, I get it, Arthur. I'm to memorize every word in the book and then eat the binder. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. Which reminds me, hey, fellas, come here. Did you hear what happened to the Italian girl swimmer that won at the Olympics? She became a streetwalker in Venice. <laughs> you get a streetwalker with a waterway. <laughs> I heard a good one the other day. No, I uh, you, I Walter. And did you, Rod? Walter, Walter, remember in the bedroom? No. <laughs> bedroom. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, Lord. The missus and I brought you a little something, too. Oh, well, thank you, Harvey. Oh, what is it? I love it. Oh, Look, a mini computer. Oh. Lord, you don't understand about mini computers. It multiplies, divides, subtracts, and adds, divides, and adds numbers thousands, into the thousands, thousands all in a split second. Seconds. Thank you, Walter. Oh, well, now you can figure out how old you really are. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Vivian, but I don't need a computer for that. It's your age minus two. Say, <laughs> like, this is fun, you know. Oh, Mother, I can use that to balance my bank statement. Oh, the household guard is pretty any little gizmo. Oh, it's a great gadget for the businessman, Chris. Excuse me, sweetheart. I mean, pull out any number you like, and I'll show you what this little beauty can really do. Okay, um... 1,500 divided by 4 plus 785 divided by 5 mm -hmm. minus 72. Mm -hmm. There you go. 160, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> even if it's wrong, it sure is fast. Uh, Walter, dear, excuse me, but uh, may I see you in the kitchen? Why? What's in the kitchen? All hell, Walter, and it's about to break loose. <laughs> This is the way you're going to stay by me during my birthday? Oh, Lord. Walter, if you'd been in the army, you would have been shot for desertion. Lord, be reasonable. All I did was leave me after the first half minute. Oh, come on, Maud. The one time one that time? I... One time? You do this all the time. Like the other night when we went to the movies with Arthur and, and Vivian. You and Arthur sat together and Vivian and I sat behind you. When I sit with Arthur, I get more popcorn. <laughs> It just shows how you changed, Walter. Before we were married and we went to the movies, your hands were everywhere, but never in my popcorn. <laughs> Maud, let's not stand in here arguing. There's a party going on in Two there. parties, Walter. One for the men and one for the women. All right. All right. For the rest of the evening, I will not move from your side. I promise. Thank you. You know, honey, you may even learn to enjoy my company. More hors d'oeuvres! Here, Carol, honey, try one of these little green ones. What's so special about the green ones? They're the ones we always have left over. <laughs> yes, the poor thing. She had an awful time of it. You know, the baby was three weeks late. No. Oh, she developed this awful pressure on her spleen. Oh. Edith Hassel, right? Who else? And not only that, oh. while she was in the hospital, she got these awful boils all over her <laughs> bottom. The size of bowling balls. Do you know her, Walter? I don't think I do. Alicia, <laughs> well, it was worse than having the baby. But well, Walter would know. Hey, Walter, what? About the energy crisis, which uses the most energy? An electric toothbrush or an electric clock? A toothbrush uses seven watts an hour, a clock only two. Maybe we'll have to start brushing our teeth with our clocks. Anyway, <laughs> she's all well again. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> That's a lot of pump. Walter! What is it? What is it, guys? I say the energy crisis is blown all out of proportion by the oil companies. Arthur believes every word that they say. 
Why should the oil companies lie? They've got all the money in the world. Maybe they want to raise the price of gasoline. The crisis is serious, Walter. Otherwise, the president wouldn't have turned down his thermostat to 68 when he went down to Key Biscayne. <laughs> the climate was freezing down there. Florida, but, but did he turn up his heat? Of course not. He flew out to California. <laughs> Arthur, since you're so patriotic, how come you're still driving that big eight-cylinder job? Oh, I have to. It's part of my image. I mean, would you trust a surgeon that drove a Volkswagen? <laughs> what about your car? It's foreign. That's one of the reasons General Motors is going broke. Arthur, Walter's car gets 20 to 22 miles per gallon. When it comes to automobiles, you're not too much of an authority. Arthur, my car gets 20 to 22 miles per gallon. And that's in town. On the parkway, it gets 27, 20... Listen... You believe everything that comes out of Washington. You know, I don't understand you, Walter. If you have no faith in this government, why don't you go back to where you came from? I can't. I came from Washington. <laughs> this is not Washington propaganda, you know. <laughs> Here, I'm hanging myself. Oh, Lord, now, come on, what's going on no, here? The only way I get Walter to pay any attention to me is to hang myself. Oh, Maud, I know this is a joke, but if that stool slips, you're going to ruin your facelift. <laughs> Believe me, both of you, this is no joke. Uh, Walter, dear, look at me. what you say, Arthur. Walter, you get all your information are... from these conservative columnists. Where are you going? Frowner? I think the New York Times. Walter, goodbye. goodbye, 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 I'm hanging myself. Well, that's nice, boy, have fun. <laughs> Yourselves. You know my wife, she'll do anything for a laugh, even hang herself. <laughs> okay, boy, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hello, master. I'm uh, playing solitaire. Let's see, queen kneels at the foot of the king. <laughs> More, the guests are all waiting. Oh, you go, master. Uh, I'll keep the incense burning up here in your house. <laughs> Maud, what do you want from me? You know what might be nice? A eunuch outside the door. <laughs> oh, come on, Walter. Don't bore yourself talking to me, a mere woman. Look, when you desire my services, simply ring this bell. One tinkle will suffice. <laughs> I'm not going to ring any silly bell. Boy, this is going this far enough. Belongs to How can you be this angry? Did you ever had a little conversation with the fellas? I'm asleep. Damn it, Maud, look to me. I am your husband. Do you hear me? <laughs> is it I, Master? <laughs> Your every wish is my command. <laughs> Maud, will you get off that bed? Whatever you choose, Master. Would you like me on the dresser? <laughs> Maud, you listen to me. <laughs> Walter, I'm waiting. You're my ding-dong daddy from Dubas. Oh, I'm crying out loud, Maud, so I talk to men at parties. Is that such a crime? Oh, come on now, Walter, be honest. Men love men and only tolerate women. It's always been that way. Hamlet said, I love thee, Horatio. He said, I love thee to all the men. What did he say to the only woman in the crowd? Get thee to a nunnery. <laughs> Lord, for the last time, get thee down to our guests! <laughs> okay, forget it. Wanna stay up here soft like a child? I'm gonna go downstairs and enjoy a nice, warm, friendly conversation with people who know how to act like adults! Listen, everybody. Maud's just not feeling very well, and... Oh, what am I saying? Maud feels fine. She just saw it. She doesn't want to come down. Well, I don't blame her the way you men leave us women out of the conversation. Oh, come off it, Carol. The only reason men prefer to talk to men is that... Well, let's face it. We don't see each other all week, and we can talk to you women any old time. <gasps> I don't believe you said that, Arthur. <gasps> Arthur, the next time you want to test your garbage disposal, talk to it. <laughs> 
Why? Let's not argue. The important thing is we get more down here so she can enjoy her own surprise party. I have got a terrific idea guaranteed to get more down here. Now, we will all holler, fire! Oh, come oh, on, oh, Arthur. Oh, come on, please, trust me. I guarantee it'll work. Please, once, all together. One, two, three, fire! fire! <laughs> you guarantee it'll work, huh, Arthur? Go <laughs> make sure you didn't hear it. Just a minute. Oh, no, no, no. We'll stay, won't we, Arthur? Come on. Well, all right. 38 long. <laughs> it's no use. We'll just never get it down here. Oh, no, Walter, listen, listen. The one thing Mother can't stand is to be left out when people are having a good time. Now, if we all pretend like we're having fun, she'll come Carol. back. Walter, listen to me. I know my mother. I lived with her for 28 years. She can't resist joining in on the fun. That's right. Why else would she have gotten married four times? <laughs> Listen, Walter, we've got to try it. We've tried everything else. What have you got to lose? Well, let's try it. What have we got to lose? George, come here. You're a good laugher. You've got a great laugh. Stand over here and laugh up the stairs. And keep it up until Maud gets down here. But, but I can only laugh when something strikes me funny. <laughs> more downstairs we're not gonna do it with rock and roll but if there's one thing she could never resist it's the conga Arthur oh, remember oh, the oh, conga. Oh, Walter, is there room for one more? <laughs> Welcome to the party, Maud. Oh, thank you, honey. And you know something? You were right. I was behaving like a child. I don't like that. You fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> fell for it? You mean... You mean this was just a cheap trick to get me down? Bad, Maud! Okay, it was a cheap trick to get you down here. And I left you alone. But I said I was sorry, but that's not good enough for you. Who do you think arranged this party with all these beautiful people? Truman Capote? 
And who do you think left work two hours early and went through the rain and the snow just to buy you a birthday gift I thought you might like? And who do you... What am I saying? I said I wouldn't leave your side, and I blew it. I really am sorry, sweetheart. Oh, Walter, thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear you say, Walter. The only thing in this world I want is to be with you every minute. Happy birthday, Maud. Honey, let's open it together. What did you get her? What did you get her? Oh! 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 Serves me right for asking such a stupid question. <laughs> Come, girls, look at this. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it just like a man? They give us something it takes us one minute to put on and ten seconds for them to take off. Well, to them, we're still just sex objects. Well, that's exactly what I was telling you about that article. Yes, yes. 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 What? Oh, uh, you and Walter. Remember in the bedroom? Uh, I'm going to be with you in a minute, dear. Here we are. Lord, you're 48 years old tonight. Just think, in two more years, you'll be half a century. <laughs> Go ahead, Maud. Make a wish. <laughs> what do you know? My wish came true. Arthur, remember the oh, Hey! 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 Just stand there and laugh! <laughs> 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 Walter, is there room for one more? <laughs> Welcome to the party, Maud. Oh, thank you, honey. And you know something? You were right. I was behaving like a child. I don't like that. You fell for it. <laughs> for it you mean you mean this was just a cheap trick to get me down Bad Maud. okay it was a cheap trick to get you down here and I left you alone but I said I was sorry but that's not good enough for you who do you think arranged this party with all these beautiful people Truman Capote <laughs> And who do you think left work two hours early and went through the rain and the snow just to buy you a birthday gift I thought you might like? And who do you... What am I saying? I said I wouldn't leave your side, 
and I blew it. I really am sorry, sweetheart. Oh, Walter, thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Walter, the only thing in this world I want is to be with you every minute. Happy birthday, Maud. Oh. Honey, let's open it together. Yeah. What did you get her, Maud? Oh. What did you get her? <gasps> oh! oh. Serves me right for asking such a stupid question. <laughs> and one for the women. All right. All right. For the rest of the evening, I will not move from your side. I promise. Thank you. You know, honey, you may even learn to enjoy my company. <laughs> More dinner! Here, Carol, honey, try one of these little green ones. What's so oh, special about the green ones? They're the ones we always have left over. <laughs> She had an awful time of it. You know, the baby was three weeks late. Oh, no. oh, she developed this awful pressure on her spleen. Oh. Edith Hassel, right? Who else? And not only that, oh. but while she was in the hospital, she got these awful boils all over her <laughs> bottom. Yes. The size of bowling balls. Do you know her, Walter? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> Alicia, oh, it was worse than having the baby. Well, Walter would know. Hey, Walter, what? About the energy crisis, which uses the most energy? An electric toothbrush? Or an electric clock. A toothbrush uses seven watts an hour, a clock only two. Maybe we'll have to start brushing our teeth with our clocks. <laughs> anyway, she's all well again. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of plum. Walter! What is it? <laughs> what is it, guys? I say the energy crisis is blown all out of proportion by the oil companies. Arthur believes every word that they say. Why should the oil companies lie? They've got all the money in the world. Maybe they want to raise the price of gasoline. The crisis is serious, Walter. Otherwise, the president wouldn't have turned down his thermostat to 68 when he went down to Key Biscayne. <laughs> the thermostat was freezing down there. Florida, but, but did he turn up his heat? Of course not. He flew out to California. Arthur, <laughs> well, since you're so patriotic, how come you're still driving that big eight-cylinder job? Oh, I have to. It's part of my image. I mean, would you trust a surgeon that drove a Volkswagen? <laughs> what about your car? It's foreign. That's one of the reasons General Motors is going broke. Arthur, Walter's car gets 20 to 22 Lord, miles to please. the gallon. When it comes to automobiles, you're not too much of an authority. Arthur, my car gets 20 to 22 miles to the gallon. And that's in town. On the parkway, it gets 27, 20. Listen, you believe everything that comes out of Washington. You know, I don't understand you, Walter. If you have no faith in this government, why don't you go back to where you came from? I can't. I came from Washington. <laughs> this is not Washington propaganda. You know. <laughs> Oh, uh, here, Carol, here. I'm hanging myself. Oh, Maud, now, Carol, oh, what's going on here? The only way I get Walter to pay any attention to me is to hang myself. Oh, Maud, I know this is a joke, but if that stool slips, you're going to ruin your face, Lynn. <laughs> Believe me, both of you, this is no joke. Uh, Walter, dear, look at me. Look at what you say, Arthur. Walter. You get 1,500 divided by 4 plus 785 divided by 5 mm -hmm. minus 72. Mm -hmm. There you go. 160, right? Right. <laughs> Even if it's wrong, it sure is fast. Uh, Walter, dear, excuse me, but uh, may I see you in the kitchen? Why? What's in the kitchen? All hell, Walter, and it's about to break loose. <laughs> this is the way you're going to stay by me during my birthday? Oh, Lord. Walter, if you'd been in the army, you would have been shot for desertion. Well, be reasonable. All I did was leave me after the first half minute. Oh, come on, Maud. The one time one that time? I... One You do this all the time. Like the other night when we went to the movies with Arthur and, and Vivian. You and Arthur sat together and Vivian and I sat behind you. When I sit with Arthur, I get more popcorn. <laughs> that just shows how you changed, Walter. Before we were married and we went to the movies, your hands were everywhere but never in my popcorn. <laughs> 
more. Let's not stand in here arguing. There's a party going on. In Two there. parties, Walter. One for the men and one for the women. Oh. All right. All right. For the rest of the evening, I will not move from your side. I promise. Thank you. You know, honey, you may even learn to enjoy my company. <laughs> More hors d'oeuvres! Here, Carol, honey, try one of these little green ones. What's so oh, special about the green ones? They're the ones we always have left over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, uh, she had an awful time of it. You know, the baby was three weeks late. Oh, no. oh, she developed this awful pressure on her spleen. Oh. Edith Hassel, right? Who else? And not only that, oh. but while she was in the hospital, she got these awful boils all over her bottom, <laughs> the size of bowling balls. Do you know her, Walter? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> Alicia, well, it was worse than having the baby. But Walter would know. Hey, Walter, what? About the energy crisis, which uses the most energy? An electric toothbrush or an electric clock? A toothbrush uses seven watts an hour, a clock only two. Maybe we'll have to start brushing our teeth with our clocks. <laughs> She's all well again. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> That's a lot of pump. Walter! What is it? What is it, guys? I say the energy crisis is blown all out of proportion by the oil companies. Arthur believes every word that they say. Why should the oil companies lie? They've got all the money in the world. Maybe they want to raise the price of gasoline. The crisis is serious, Walter. Otherwise, the president wouldn't have turned down his thermostat to 68 when he went down to Key Biscayne. <laughs> freezing down there. <laughs> Florida, but, but did he turn up his heat? Of course not. He flew out to California. Arthur, <laughs> well, since you're so patriotic, how come you're still driving that big eight-cylinder job? Oh, I have to. It's part of my image. I mean, would you trust a surgeon that drove a Volkswagen? <laughs> what about your car? It's foreign. That's one of the reasons General Motors is going broke. Arthur, Walter, it's lights and heads, numbers in the thousands, all in a split second. Seconds. Thank you, Walter. Oh, well, now you can figure out how old you really are. Uh, thank you, Vivian, but I don't need a computer for that. It's your age minus two. <laughs> Fun, you know? Oh, mother, I can use that to balance my bank statement. Oh, the household you know, that's pretty any little gizmo. Oh, it's a great gadget for the businessman, Chris. Excuse me, sweetheart. I mean, pull out any number you like, and I'll show you what this little beauty can really do. Okay, um, 1,500 divided by 4 plus 785 divided by 5 mm -hmm. minus 72. Mm -hmm. There you go. 160, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> even if it's wrong, it sure is fast. <laughs> Walter, dear, excuse me, but uh, may I see you in the kitchen? Why? What's in the kitchen? All hell, Walter, and it's about to break loose. <laughs> this is the way you're going to stay by me during my birthday? Oh, Lord. Walter, if you'd been in the army, you would have been shot for desertion. <laughs> Maud, be reasonable. All I did was leave me after the first half minute. Oh, come on, Maud. The one time one that time? I... One time? You do this all the time. Like the other night when we went to the movies with Arthur and, and Vivian. You and Arthur sat together, and Vivian and I sat behind you. When I sit with Arthur, I get more popcorn. <laughs> it just shows how you changed, Walter. Before we were married and we went to the movies, your hands were everywhere, but never in my popcorn. <laughs> Maud, let's not stand in here arguing. There's a party going on in Two there. parties, Walter. One for the men and one for the women. All right. All right. For the rest of the evening, I will not move from your side. I promise. Thank you. You know, honey, you may even learn to enjoy my company. More <laughs> dinner! Here, Carol, honey, try one of these little green ones. What's so special about the green ones? They're the ones we always have left over. <laughs> Uh, she had an awful time of it. You know, the baby was three weeks late. Oh, no. oh she developed this awful pressure on her spleen. Oh. Edith Hassel, right? Who else? And not only that, oh. while she was in the hospital, she got these awful boils all over her <laughs> bottom. The yes. size of bowling balls. Do you know her, Walter? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> Alicia, well, it was worse than having the baby. But Walter would know. Hey, Walter, what? About the energy crisis, which uses the most energy? An electric toothbrush? Or an electric clock? A toothbrush uses seven watts an hour, a clock only two. Maybe we'll have to start brushing our teeth with our clocks. <laughs> She's all well again. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> That's a lot of pump. Walter! What is it? What is it, guys? 
I say the energy crisis is blown all out of proportion by the about many computers. Mm. It multiplies, divides, subtracts, and adds, divides, divides and adds numbers into thousands, thousands all in a split second. Seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Oh, now you can figure out how old you really are. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Vivian, but I don't need a computer for that. It's your age minus two. <laughs> Say, this is fun, you know? Oh, Mother, I can use that to balance my bank statement. Oh, the household oh, that's pretty any little gizmo. Oh, it's a great gadget for the businessman, Chris. Excuse me, sweetheart. I mean, pull out any number you like, and I'll show you what this little beauty can really do. Okay, um, 1,500 divided by 4 plus 785 divided by 5 mm -hmm. minus 72. Mm -hmm. There you go. 160, right? Right. <laughs> Even if it's wrong, it sure is fast. Uh, Walter, dear, excuse me, but uh, may I see you in the kitchen? Why? What's in the kitchen? All hell, Walter, and it's about to break loose. <laughs> This is the way you're going to stay by me during my birthday? Oh, Lord. Walter, if you'd been in the army, you would have been shot for desertion. Maud, be reasonable. All I did was leave me after the first half minute. Oh, come on, Maud. The one time one that time? I... One time? You do this all the time. Like the other night when we went to the movies with Arthur and, and Vivian. You and Arthur sat together and Vivian and I sat behind you. When I sit with Arthur, I get more popcorn. <laughs> It just shows how you changed, Walter. Before we were married and we went to the movies, your hands were everywhere, but never in my popcorn. <laughs> Maud, let's not stand in here arguing. There's a party going on in Two there. parties, Walter. One for the men and one for the women. All right. All right. For the rest of the evening, I will not move from your side. I promise. Thank you. You know, honey, you may even learn to enjoy my company. Lord, <laughs> Here, Carol, honey, try one of these little green ones. What's so oh, special about the green ones? They're the ones we always have left over. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, she had an awful time of it. You know, the baby was three weeks late. Oh, no. oh she developed this awful pressure on her spleen. Oh. Edith Hassel, right? Who else? And not only that, oh. but while she was in the hospital, she got these awful boils all over her <laughs> bottom. The yes. size of bowling balls. <laughs> you know her, Walter. <laughs> I don't think I do. Alicia, well, it was worse than having a baby. Well, Walter would know. Hey, Walter, what? About the energy crisis, which uses the most energy? An electric toothbrush or an electric clock? A toothbrush uses seven watts an hour, a clock only two. Maybe we'll have to start brushing our teeth with our clocks. Anyway, <laughs> she's all well again. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> That's a lot of pump. Walter! What is it? 